Thank you, Victoria. Okay, next next up we have a, a, a pair of um, one, well, the MP candidates from the same constituency. So I hope this is going to be okay, actually. Uh, so this is her first is um, the Labour candidate for South Cambridgeshire, uh, Dan Grief. Friends, I'd just like to wish you all a very happy Groundhog Day. We've been here before, haven't we? What happens is the government tries to bring to Parliament a ridiculous deal, a Frankenstein deal, which is worse for our country, and our MPs stand up and say no. Now I want to say to Boris Johnson, that's called Parliament taking back control. It's what he wanted. He should be celebrating with us this evening. Self-harm is not something that any of us want for our country. Now, I've made a, a few notes for this evening, but while I was watching the speeches, it seems a shame not to mention something in particular. Yesterday, we had the report, the first phase report, about the Grenfell fire. And if this was any normal time, we'd be talking about that today. 30% of our people live in tower blocks or live in other blocks and flats. They are still vulnerable to fire. There's a lot of damage in our country right now and it's been completely overwashed with this Brexit debate. So let's get rid of it and get down to the real issue of social injustice. Hey, good. Now at the weekend I was purchasing a poppy from an old man at a stall and while I was doing so, another gentleman came over and he started saying, we fought two world wars to stick it to the Europeans and now the MPs are stopping us getting on with Brexit. Now, as you can imagine, we did have words. I'm not going to let that go. And of course we had words because what a load of rubbish. It's not that man's fault though. He's been lied to for generations, well, certainly for the last 40 years of lies from people like Boris Johnson or the current candidate in South Cambridgeshire for the Conservative Party, Anthony Brown. Boo. <laughs> Boo, indeed. Now, I said to him, this country has linked arm in arm with our Europeans many times throughout the past to stand up to fascism, to stand up to intolerance, to stand up to hatred. We are European, if you like it or not, we are. We are a mixture of Celtic, Roman, Norman, Viking, Saxon, French, German, Italian, Polish. We're Jewish, we're Muslim. We are a diverse people, and we are proud of being a diverse people. How dare the Brexiteers try to rewrite our history? But we have an existential problem in South Cambridgeshire this time. Heidi Allen is going, and I'm really sad to see her go. She was a, a Conservative opponent who I had a lot of respect for, because she's a decent human being. I just want to say thank you to you, Heidi, for your service. Thank you for standing up for South Cambridgeshire. Thank you for being brave in the face of all the filth that's been thrown at you. But this time, we face a different Conservative. A no-deal believing Conservative in Anthony Brown. Now, he's written a few things in the past. If you read The Spectator, you may have read them. I'll just uh, quote, the diseases that mass immigration is bringing to Britain will probably claim more British lives in the long run than terrorism. And another quote, Islam really does want to conquer the world. I realise that could be edited in a very bad way. Not my words, Anthony Brown. Now when asked recently by the Cambridge Independent about these views, he refused to apologise and he said, I went through a phase as a young journalist trying to get attention. Does that remind you of anyone? <laughs> Who else has done that? I can't think. By the way, he was 36 at the time, uh, which is how old I was last time I stood in South Cams, but never mind. So I want to send a message to him this evening, and if you have a phone you want to tweet this to him, feel free. Uh, if not, I will talk straight to the camera, and hopefully he'll watch this, because actually, you know what, Anthony? We're standing together against people like you. 
We are a diverse population, we are proud to be a diverse population, and we will stand up to racism in any form. We will not give up. And finally, friends, before the frostbite kicks in, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you. I know many of you were on the march in London, I was too. And if you went back a few years ago, it felt pretty hopeless. But I feel now there's actually a real light at the end of the tunnel. And you know why? It's because you didn't give up. You could have so easily gone home and watched Bake Off or whatever is on TV these days. You could have said, I'll believe the leave lies. It's a done deal. There's no point standing up against this because it's just too big. But you know what? When people pull together, this is what we achieve. Let's stop Brexit.